Hi, uh, this is the chemical process pilot plant. This uh, chemical process pilot plant can be used to demonstrate the transesterification reaction of triglyceride with methanol. The increasing demand for energy and environmental awareness has driven a lot of research to produce alternative fuels from renewable resources that are environmentally more acceptable. Palm oil is an edible oil derived from the fruits and kernels of the oil palm is Genesis. Within the span of four decades, the plant or the palm oil has emerged as the fastest growing oil in the world. The quality of palm oil is determined by various factors and free fatty acid is one of the most frequent determined quality indices during production, storage and marketing. Other parameters that dictate the price of palm oil products include moisture, impurities and iodine values. Biodiesel is most commonly made by chemically altering an organic oil through the use of catalyst and alcohol. The most common alcohol use is methanol. The chemical reaction that occurs through this process breaks down the oil molecules and forms fatty acid, methyl ester, and glycerin. As the solubility of methyl ester and glycerin is low, the product after the reaction will be separated into two layers with glycerin at the bottom the glycerin is drained of the reactor to be exact the biodiesel is methyl ester that meet a specific standard the methyl ester produced need to be purified to remove any impurities present typically by water washing after drying if the methyl ester achieves the specifications, the biodiesel can then be used as diesel substitute. Okay, so this is the process flow diagram for the reactor system in the production of biodiesel. As you can see in the PFD here, so we have a tank where we feed the triglyceride and we have another tank where we fill with methanol. The presence of catalyst is very important to increase the rate of reaction for the trans process. So here we have uh, the reactor. Okay, All the feeds will be fed into the reactor to run the process. The reaction between the triglyceride and alcohol is a reversible reaction to produce biodiesel and glycerin. So in order to increase the rate of reaction and to make sure that forward reaction takes place, we need to have excess in the reactant. In this place, we're going to have alcohol to be our excess reaction reactants in the process so in the process glycerin and uh, biodiesel will be produced okay so these are the reactor system that we have there are six systems to be used simultaneously in the production of biodiesel in the production of biodiesel Heat exchanger system, reactor system, byproduct removal system, moisture removal system, purification and distillation system, excess feed material recovery system will be used in the production of biodiesel. These systems support one another in the production. Now let's look at the process flow diagram of reactor system in the control room. So in the control room, we have six systems that can be controlled uh, remotely from the pilot plant. 
I have explained about the reactor system previously and this is where the reaction takes place. The reaction are between triglyceride and methanol and the methanol use must be in excess to promote the forward reaction. To increase the rate of reaction, catalyst will be used here. The types of catalysts used here can be sodium hydroxide or potassium hydroxide. They are used to increase the rate of reaction. The oil feed that is used to feed into the reactor system will be heated before it is fed into the reactor system. Now, let's proceed to the another system which is called byproduct removal system. In this byproduct removal system, the glycerin will be separated from the biodiesel. Glycerin, which is much heavier compared to biodiesel, will be settled at the bottom of the tank. Therefore, it is easily separated. The biodiesel produced then are sent, are sent to the wash tank. In this wash tank, the biodiesel will be washed using hot water. When the biodiesel reach the pH of 7 or neutral, the washing will be stopped. Water and the biodiesel will be separated. When the water and the biodiesel are separated, the separated biodiesel then will be sent to the moisture removal system. Now, let's look on the PFD in the control room of moisture removal system. So, in this PFD of moisture removal system, extra water or extra moisture content will be removed from the biodiesel. The dryer is used to remove the moisture content. The dryer used in this process is called vacuum dryer. So when the biodiesel is dried, then it is ready to be sold. Now let's look on the other system. The next system is called purification and distillation system. In the purification and distillation system, extra methanol or excess methanol will be recovered in this process. Now let's look on another system. Another system is called Excess Feed Material Recovery System. So in this process, excess feed will be recovered in this system. Now, let's visit the plant. The first system that we're going to visit here is called reactor system. Now, let's visit to the, another system which is called byproduct removal system. Now, let's go to the heat exchanger system. The next system that we're going to visit here is purification and distillation system.
Now let's look on the washer removal system where dryer is used here. On the left, we have access feed recovery system. Moisture remover system in the middle. So this is how the plants looks like. Hope you enjoy the virtual visit to Chemical Process Pilot Plant.